tonight. From SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Justin Herbert and the L.A. Chargers taking on Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Los Angeles Chargers. On to get us started now, the kicker, Chris Boswell. And we are underway in Southern California. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Chargers set to go on offense for the first time, and they are led by the NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2020. Now in his second season out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. About the only thing that didn't go right for Justin Herbert in his rookie season, the team's overall record. The Offensive Rookie of the Year in the NFL was the fourth rookie with over 4,000 yards passing, just 38 yards short of the rookie record set by Andrew Luck in 2012. In addition, he set the single-season record for passing touchdowns by a rookie with 31, breaking the mark of Cleveland's Baker Mayfield. This young man's potential, limitless. That's why so many people wanted to be the next head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers and help open up the stadium big in 2021. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Okay, there's a tone setter. First play from scrimmage. Stuff him in the backfield. You know what they were doing last night in the hotel room? <laughs> Visualizing exactly <laughs> that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play. Having leverage. Lower than the offensive lineman. Getting into the offensive backfield. Knocking some one down just what you said set the tone early for this game Jeez, you are fired up when i see a play like that i can't help it after the loss to start out here second and 11. herbert will give this one to eckler and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line just a three yard gain there but you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Herbert. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he's going to pull his way forward to the 48. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him.
They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And Eckler will not get there. Great defense at the point of attack. Going to stop him short of the first down. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Ty Long to punt. Ray Ray McLeod deep for Pittsburgh. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five yard line. Steelers here ready to go to work for the first time. And the grizzled vet, Ben Roethlisberger, bringing him out now in his 18th season in the National Football League. So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you've really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. And they'll run for the first time with Najee Harris. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Now Roethlisberger. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And they'll get him down up past the 15. 11 yards for number 11. You can see the time and effort and thought that they've put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A first carry for Najee Harris. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. Roethlisberger. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was staying in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. And a catch made by Johnson. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? 
force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's Roethlisberger. This one into the hands of the running back, Melange. Some extra space following the display of power down just inside the 45. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Fourth round pick, it's Kalen Balazs. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Right side, Claypool's got it. Five yards, now it's third and five. Now Roethlisberger to throw. They'll set up the screen to Balazs. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. And a screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short gain. They'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. They run for it with Harris. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. More from L.A. in a moment. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll run with Harris. Oh, what a juke into space. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. Oh, that's a very good run there by Najee Harris, who can take it inside. He can get to the perimeter. He can do it all with his build and his speed. This is a guy coming out of Alabama who did everything for the Crimson Tide. That's why Pittsburgh took him in the first round. Last in the league in rushing as a team last year were the Steelers. They're expecting Harris to kickstart their running game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10.
They hand this off to Harris. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They run it with Balage. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. A good run as he works his way for nine that time, and it'll leave him with a third and just a few inches. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Two yards is the pickup, and the Steelers are going to have a first and goal. And that's why he spent a first-round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. Here we go now on first and goal. Harris is into the end zone for a Steeler touchdown. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. So that amazingly a 17-play drive. And it was the rookie, Najee Harris, who finished it off with a touchdown run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. On the return, Andre Roberts from his end zone. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. What's up, man? Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all. The attack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and ten at their own 17-yard line. He'll hand off here to Eckler, and he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And oh, what a catch there by Allen. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Ty Long now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. 
I have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. Open man, that's the tight end, Fryermuth. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Completion here to Claypool. Four yards the pick up, first down. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So on first and ten, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, batted at the line and intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Charles, there's something special about one of those big D linemen bringing it in. Off the tip there, really nice coordination. Very much so. And I think what we've seen, and I'm going to put it in about the last five years, maybe a little bit longer, coaches placing a bigger emphasis on ball drills, even for defensive linemen, because possession is so key. When you've got a chance to take one away, you want people comfortable with the football, and it paid off there. After the turnover, here's Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. To throw again on second down. Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Off the play fake to Eckler. It's Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Hopkins' kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they do get the three points before they hit halftime. Something to build on, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and raise the banner, right? The wave the flag. That's good. Got points. And now, as you said, they've got something to build on as they get ready for the second half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And with a 7-3 lead, we'll see how aggressive they want to be. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. 
So we've reached halftime here with the visiting Steelers out in front. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And the Steeler offense ready to get going here in this third quarter. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. to Harris to begin the drive. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Kenneth Murray, the Chargers' leading tackler, is a rookie last year in on the stop. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here's second and 10. They'll run here with Balage. Room to run past midfield. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. 41 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense, and on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Again, it's Harris on second down. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. The 
The Steelers send out their punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Going on the ground with Eckler. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Second down and eight. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he gets this up past the 30. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. A handoff it's Eckler. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now Brandon that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam boom biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Seven yards there at a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. On the give, this is Eckler. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Working with second and five now. They'll try the air now with Herbert. This is swung out to Eckler. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. 
On third down, here's Eckler. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Setting up to throw on first down. He's airing it out for Williams. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. It's a gain of 35. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Now Herbert gives this one to Kelly. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Joshua Kelly, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have taken the lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Pittsburgh offense making their way back out, and they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 26. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Trying to get it to Ebron, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kenneth Murray. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. 
So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. to the air Roethlisberger after the pick six and up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down that'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10 point deficit a good start there on this fourth quarter drive they need more of what we just saw down a couple of scores there's still time all right it's not like you know they're totally out of it but they have to score quickly and they're going to need some big time plays chunk plays explosive plays they need yardage on each snap and his throw here's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. <laughs> to throw here, Roethlisberger. Short little throw to Ebron. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Steelers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. Again, it's Roethlisberger. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose, and picked up by the Chargers. And they're gonna be set up in the red zone at the 15. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over, but that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drop. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. Austin Eckler and the Charger offense reclaim center stage. And after a sluggish start, he's really bounced back. The numbers bear that out. And you're a baseball guy, partner. How many at-bats over the course of a baseball season? Oh, boy, four about in a three, game. Yeah, about the four in a four game. Four times 162. 350 or so, right? Sometimes it takes a while for a guy to get going. That's my point. It's not the first few carries. You don't worry about that. As they go along, get that guy lathered up, get those blocking assignments down. Those two-yard gains turn into bigger gains as the game moves along. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And this carry brought to an end at the eight. Good stick skills, just not much room there to operate. A 
Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Once more, here's Eckler. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Trying to punch it in with Eckler. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. It would be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Here's the Chargers' defense as they get ready to go again. They recovered the fumble last time. Three turnovers for them in this game. They've been, that, that word opportunistic comes to mind, right? Exactly right. And you know guys on defense, they say the turnovers. And offensive guys call them turnovers. We call them takeaways. We go get them. And that's exactly what they've done in this game. The former DB making sure you know their takeaways on the defense. Takeaways, side. man. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Able to hit his target, Claypool. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. On second and inches, Roethlisberger. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Short little throw to Ebron. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Roethlisberger will throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Second and 10. Now it's Roethlisberger. Short little throw to Ebron. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. And that is incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back.
Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. Good night, everybody.